and welcome to Exporter Data Authorization. Once Exporter is installed, we will only share your data with applications that you have authorised. Each application that utilises Exporter must be authorised separately, which allows you to control exactly what data is being shared on an application by application basis. For example, if your cashless catering solution needs access to your staff payroll information, but your homework management tool doesn't, then you will only grant access to the staff payroll for the cashless catering solution. Or, if little Abby Smith in Year 7's parents don't see a problem with their daughter's data being sent to the homework management tool, but for some reason they don't trust the cashless caterers, you can share Abby's data with only the appropriate applications. So, let's get started. Data authorization starts with an email with the subject, invitation from the application name to sync your MIS data and complete your setup. If you have not received an email like this, please contact the application provider who can invite you to share data through Exporter. Once you have your email, please click begin authorization. Confirm you are the appropriate individual to authorize data sharing. If you're not, click no and fill in the details of the person at the school who is. The email will then be passed over to the person you nominate and they can continue the process. If you are the appropriate person, then select yes and proceed. On the following page, if we were unable to automatically detect your MIS, please select the appropriate one from the drop down list and click OK. This screen lists the data areas being shared. Please expand the areas for more detailed information on what is being shared. You can review the application's data sharing agreement at any point during this process. If you're unsure why you are providing access to any of these data areas, please contact the application provider. If you're happy with all the data areas listed, please click proceed to the next step. The following page lets you choose your data sharing mode. This is a method you wish to use including or excluding individuals data like Abby Smith mentioned at the start. If you do wish to make changes to the individuals included in your data feed to this application before any data is shared, please select the option pause my feed after data authorization so I can control specifically whose information will be shared. Once you're happy with your choice, please proceed to the next step. The final screen for authorization is the declarations. Please read and accept all three and click authorize. Sharing authorization will take a couple of moments before you move on to the next step. If this is your first time authorizing an exporter application, further setup may be required and you will be presented with instructions relevant to your MIS. Please read these instructions carefully as each MIS has its own unique requirements and if you use a non-cloud based MIS such as SIM 7 you will have the option to book a date and time when one of our installation team can contact you to complete the installation. Also your exporter school portal user credentials have now been emailed to you. Please note if you're an existing exporter user you will skip the installation step and will not be emailed your credentials. The final screen will summarise all steps taken and give you the option to log into the Exporter School portal where you can adjust the individuals included in your data feeds and get an overview of who you are sharing with. Or you have the option to go to the application provider's website. That's all you need to know on data authorisation using Exporter. If you do have any other questions, please do contact our team and they'll be able to help you.